There have been several revolutions in the history of medical science. In recent years, we had the birth of biotechnology, and this was centered on uh, the science of recombinant DNA, the ability to move DNA around, to cut and splice DNA. Uh, was the birth of companies like Genentech and Amgen. But from the time of that lab bench scientific discovery until the billion dollar products became actualized and investor returns began rolling in was up to 20 years in length. And in the case of Amgen, many hundreds of millions of dollars of investment capital had to be raised. But eventually, for patient long-term investors, a massive payoff. Additional revolutions occurred in platform technologies like recombinant DNA with monoclonal antibodies. The ability to make uh, antibodies that recognize, like a magic bullet, different proteins on the surface of cells. And this turned out to be, maybe 20 years after their discovery, another multiple billion dollar industry. Well, in the late 1990s, I was, I'm proud to be part of a revolution in regenerative medicine, the use of pluripotential stem cells to manufacture young cells of any kind in the human body, even genetically engineered in any way. Again, potentially a very large industry, potentially larger than any other revolution in the history of medicine, somewhat uniting recombinant DNA and other technologies into this field, there's still an emerging field called regenerative medicine. It has taken now nearly 20 years to get where we are today. These are platform technologies with many hundreds of potential applications in medicine. So however the business plays out, the scientific community is quite convinced that one day these new products, this entire new industry, will dramatically improve the quality of life for you and me.